Good evening. Welcome to the Scarborough Zoning Board of Appeals, August 13, 2014. Uh, just a quick note, uh, I am the co-chair, but I rarely sit in this seat, so please bear with me and uh, we'll make it through it this evening. Carol, would you please uh, give us a roll call? Mr. Crockett? Here. Mr. Dillon? Here. Mr. Loisel? Mr. Missiso? Here. Mr. Richard? Here. Mr. Stanhope? Here. Mr. Stark? Here. And for the purposes this evening, uh, Mr. Stanhope, we will not need you voting, but we, your comments are certainly welcome. Okay. Uh, Mr. Stanhope is an alternate here. Uh, please, if you would, rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, appeal number 2430, a variance uh, appeal by uh, Emily Carson, has been tabled until next month. So if, you're, if anyone here is, for, is in, in here for that appeal, uh, it will not be this evening. 2431. Pardon? Is it 2431? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, for, the, for the members of the board, uh, the uh, itinerary is the agenda here is incorrect. So uh, kind of go off of the names that I'm reading, if you would, please. Any changes uh, or comments on the uh, uh, on the minutes of the July 9th meeting? Move to approve the minutes from July 9th. Second. Okay. Vote of hands. Yes. Okay. Five yes. Okay. We'll start this evening with appeal number 2529. It's a special exception appeal by Leslie Grimshield. 11 Farmhouse Road uh, to operate a uh, home occupation as a licensed massage therapist in the RF zone. Could we have a uh, the, uh, the appellant or a uh, person to, uh, to take the stand, if we who would state your name and your address into the microphone for the record? Leslie Grimshide, uh, 11 Farmhouse Road. Okay. Would you? Uh, Describe what you'd like to do here and kind of give us some, some information on the backup that you've, that you've given us. The information that you've given us in our packets, we need that for public record. So okay. while we have an opportunity to see it, the general public does not. So we need you to go through that for okay. us if you would. Um, I am a retired physician, also trained as a massage therapist. I've been practicing as a licensed massage therapist for 12 plus years. Um, I've had two home offices in the past. I'm currently in an office in South Portland while we're renting, awaiting this new house, uh, new construction to be finished. And um, the house first floor allows me to actually enclose one of the rooms um, that's quite near a bathroom and um, off to the side of the house so that I could potentially have a home office if it's approved. Um, Let's see. Um, mostly what I practice is uh, medical orthopedic massage. I don't have a very heavy schedule. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I pretty much see at the most two people in a day. If I saw 10 people in a week, that would be a lot. Um, so traffic in and out of the development would be pretty much minimal. And if I had to go to my office, the traffic would be me going to the office instead of somebody coming to me because a lot of times I'll have a morning person and then an evening or late afternoon person. Okay. Uh, Mr. Longstaff, any comments from the, uh, <coughs> from the planning department? Uh, no. Uh, other than the staff comments that I provided you, um, again, uh, all home occupations are um, only allowed as special exceptions by approval of the zoning board, and that's what you're here to, to make sure that uh, it meets the criteria uh, that's spelled out in Section 4, um, I, 1 through 5 of the zoning ordinance. Questions, comments from the board? No? Um, I'd like to go through the questions and, and have you answer those into the microphone, if you would, okay. please. Uh, the, and, and I understand that you have written answers. If you'd like to read those, that's fine, or you can just go offhand, whatever's best for you. 
the proposal will not create unsanitary or unhealthful conditions by reason of sewage disposal, emissions to the air or water, or other aspects of, it, of its design or operation. There should be no sewer or, or um, other concerns like that. Okay. Unsanitary conditions. Okay. The proposal will not create un unsafe vehicular uh, pedestri or pedestrian traffic conditions when added to the existing and foreseeable traffic in, in its vicinity. As I mentioned, it would either be me going to my office or somebody coming to my office. So in any case, someone would be traveling along that road. So pretty much it's going to be a wash as far as increase in traffic. Okay. Uh, the, the proposed use will not create public safety problems, which would be substantially different from those created by existing uses in the neighborhood, or require a substantially greater degree in municipal fire or police protection than existing uses in the neighborhood. I don't anticipate any increase in usage. Okay. Uh, the proposed use will not result in sedimentation or erosion or have an adverse effect on water supplies. I cannot imagine how I would affect <laughs> cause erosion <laughs> with my profession. <laughs> in fact, I'm a gardener and I am looking at blocking all the erosion that's occurring around my house probably right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there may be a little this week. Yes, I think so. Uh, the proposed use will be compatible with existing uses in the neighborhood with respect to physical size, visual impact, intensity of use, proximity to other structures, <coughs> and density of development. Uh, currently, the home was planned as a spec home, so it pretty much fits in with the neighborhood. Um, and uh, I don't anticipate having a sign out. Um, I've never had a sign with any of my other home offices. Um, the most that I ever had was a logo on one of those flags, and my logo was a Japanese crane, so it pretty much would look like you know someone's welcome spring flag hanging from their garage. Okay. Um, if located in a shoreland zone, I don't believe you are. Is that um, correct? Um, I, I don't. We're not on the water. We're in wetlands, okay. but um, it's not applicable. Yeah. I didn't think so. Okay. Um, the applicant has sufficient right title or interest in the site of the proposed to be uh, able to carry out the proposed use. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. The the applicant has sufficient right title or interest in yes. the site. We will be closing on the house in the next few weeks. Okay. Uh, and the applicant has the technical and financial ability to meet the standards of this section and to comply with any conditions imposed by the Board of Appeals <coughs> pursuant to subsection 5 of this section. I, I don't anticipate any problems requiring that. Okay. Uh, proposed. Use will be compatible with existing uses in the neighborhood with respect to the generation of noise and the hours of operation. Um, as I stated in my paperwork, my hours of operation are pretty much I start at 8 a.m. at the earliest. Most of my people are 9.30 clients. My la last person is leaving, I anticipate, at 7 at the latest. Pretty much my last appointment is at 5.30. So it's just allowing for okay. time. Uh, questions and from the board? Any, oh, Mr. Macisso. So the you got this uh, highlighted in yellow, the dining area is where you plan on yes. doing the massaging? And yes. And then the bathroom is? The bathroom is, if you notice the side entrance, in yellow too, and you go up the stairs, it's about four stairs, and you go straight back through, you'll notice coat closet, pantry, and the bathroom is? So the, in the rear the, there. The patient or client is going to, how is he going to enter the house? Enter. Through the side entrance. Through the side. And then, is he gonna, are they going to be in your house? Yes. And you're okay with that? Is, it, is that allowable? Uh, have a business yeah. in, uh -huh. in, in a private home? That's what we're hearing, yeah. I've done it on two other occasions. The client has come to the house and has been in the house, not a separate area. Okay. I've never had any problems. Okay. Mr. Masizzo, I believe that the, the maximum that she can use is 20% of, yeah. of the floor space. 
It's just that we have I haven't heard we haven't heard any of a home occupation where the they were actually coming into the into the home. They've mostly been cooking or yeah. Or no one's actually gone into a home. So I'm kind of <coughs> good question. We have I think a year or so ago um, a home piano teacher. Uh, she was running going through the same thing. Same thing. But having students come to her house. And these would be patients that you are familiar with. Yes. I do not do any appointments online. So, I screen everybody that calls me. I mean, I'm... For your own benefit, I would Exactly. Any other Never had a single incident up till now, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, having MD after my name before the LMT tends to sift out the, uh, the people looking for adult entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going that far. Yeah, I know, but... And the parking is, is where's the parking going to be? The be parking um, actually will have a very generous sized driveway <laughs> to to cars width, and then there's also going to be um, a, I don't know what you call it, but Most. if you backed out of the garage, you could back into that slot. And that's adequate enough for you? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, <laughs> I see it goes back almost 285, almost 200 feet, so it's a long driveway. And yes. I have no further questions. Any other questions from the board? I, I assume that probably the maximum number of, of uh, clients that you would have there would be one at a time. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Carol, I, any I could also space them a half an hour apart. Uh, there okay. was one in support of... Um, yeah, I should have checked with you before we came up. I, I'd forward that to you. Okay, there is one letter. And this is from a Chris Lane at 15 Cross Hill in Cape Elizabeth. Uh, I'm writing, writing to you on behalf of my former neighbor, Leslie Grimshield. Uh, when I was a neighbor of Leslie's, she had an office in her home. While I can understand that the request for a home office can raise concerns from potential neighbors, I can honestly say that never once did I notice any activity from Leslie's business. I live right on the corner where her cars would turn into her street. I'm especially concerned about traffic on that corner because I have young children that play in the yard and near the street, bikes, skateboards, etc. I never noticed increased activity or decreased activity after she moved out from the neighborhood due to her home office. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. So, thank you, Carol. I'd like to open it up to the public for any comments. Anyone care to speak? Okay, close to the public. What was that? I just said good luck. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, uh, any further questions from the board? If we move this for approval, would it be prudent to add upon completion of the closing of the property? Uh, we could probably do that. But I, I, I don't think she can. She wouldn't be able to get in there without closing on it anyway. Well, that's true. Yeah. So what, that I don't. What do you think that's uh, Yes, Mr. Chairman. She she'd need a certificate of occupancy before she could entertain clients anyway. Right. So it really would be a moot point. Okay. Okay. I don't believe that we have any real issues with any of the standards, so I think uh, I think we'll just take an up or down vote on this. Okay. Any 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 one any of the rest of you guys have a problem with that? Okay. Uh, motion on this. I move for approval of Appeal 2529. Yes. As Second. presented. Uh, yeses. Five yeses. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. Luck, Bill. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good luck. First patient. He's <laughs> watching us on TV. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> Get a letter from me. Him.
Okay, next appeal is appeal number 2530. Uh, limited reduction of yard size appeal by Lindsay Harris, 12 Second Avenue. Okay, if I remember right. Uh, that number That's 2429. Don't worry about the number. Yeah, don't worry about the number. It's been kind of changed around a little bit. Uh, so this is in a, uh, this zone requires a 40 foot setback. They are asking for a 10-foot ten, ten reduction for the purposes of constructing a 6 by 8 enclosed side entry to the structure. Good evening, members. Uh, first off, uh, my name is Robert Krauskup. I'm a uh, Scarborough resident and the uh, contractor on behalf of the appellant, Lindsay Harris. I um, apologize for the late entry on the pictures. Uh, Brian was generous enough to uh, help me out. Uh, we were late with the deadline or getting close to the deadline, so uh, having some uh, pictures developed and time to get the application in was, uh, was difficult at best, and Brian was very helpful with that. Okay. If you wouldn't mind, go, uh, go ahead and tell us what you're proposing to do here. Okay. Um, if you'll see, and, and maybe I'll just take you through the pictures as well as just a, a brief description, uh, but what we're proposing is in addition to the northern side of the house, approximately six by eight in dimension. Uh, if you see that side of the house in the pictures, you'll see currently a, a stepped entry into the side of the house with a covered uh, porch. It's uh, approximately two feet by four feet, two feet out from the house and uh, approximately four feet wide. And uh, as you will see um, by those steps, it, it's, it's really not, uh, and one of the reasons that Lindsay contracted with me to um, get rid of that, she doesn't feel it's safe. It's hard, it's, uh, hard to navigate, she's got kids, groceries. That entrance actually goes into a set of stairs that goes down to a basement and then two steps up into the kitchen. Um, as opposed to the front entrance, which actually doesn't have any, and you can see through the pictures, doesn't have any uh, clear-cut way of getting in there from her driveway. So she was hoping to add this mudroom addition. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, it's a six by eight structure. Uh, one of the problems that we found, um, the zoning requirements with this building was built back in, forgive me for a second, 1934. Uh, has a 40-foot setback, and we were able to do a, a Class D survey to, to uh, understand the uh, the plot plan um, again with Brian's help, and understand that, uh, that we could uh, look to build within that building envelope uh, with a limited reduction uh, approval from the board. Mr. Chair, before yeah. we get too far into the appeal, I just want to let you know I serve on a board with Mr. Kruskup through Scarborough Little League, but it shouldn't affect my decision in this. If everybody else is okay with that. That's fine. Fine with me. Okay. Anybody else have a problem with that? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thanks, Leroy. I appreciate that as well. Yep. Um, Mr. Longstaff, other than the comments uh, put forth uh, by the uh, department, anything else that you'd like to add to that? Um, Mr. Chairman, I'm still, I'm still a little bit confused on the drawings that um, Mr. Kroskop has provided. I'm I'm not seeing the math working out to, to uh, meet that 30-foot setback as uh, a limited reduction of yard size. Um, and, and I would encourage the board maybe to ask Mr. Chris Cup if he could clarify. Uh, I'm seeing a, a, one of the late submissions, the submissions after the packets went out with a, a sketch showing a 33-foot distance to the road. It doesn't say to the center of the road or the right of way of the road, so I'm still not clear where that distance is is being measured to and from, um, but if it's 33 feet to the center of the road and then another 10 feet and 3 inches to the um, <coughs> proposed addition, that's... Um, 43 feet? Yeah. It's not to the center of the road, uh, just to clarify, and, and uh, it's to the, uh, to the curb on the road. The house sits approximately 33 feet 6 inches from the uh, the sidewalk that's on the house you'll see it in the in the pictures uh, and then of course with the uh, with the building uh, plot plan that you'll see uh, that we had pulled the pins we were only able to locate two of the pins the corner of the building has, has been uh, deemed to be um, 
the, or the, the building envelope has been deemed to be 20, 10 feet from that corner of that building. Okay. So the right of way looks to be, uh, if you do the math, or the way I did the math was the building looks to be, uh, or the, the right of way, excuse me, uh, deems to be 13 feet of the grass in front of the house, and then 20 feet to the house, and then an additional 10 feet with that, uh, with that limited reduction. Okay. Hopefully that helps explain that. So this one that has 16.8 to um, 2nd Avenue, what is that 16.8? <laughs> I'm a builder, not not a, a designer or a, 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 an architect. Uh, so the CAD program that I use is it basically I shrunk everything down so it was about half the measurement. Um, that's why I gave you a revised copy. It's 33 feet 6 inches. Uh, it was about 16, 16 and change um, on there when I used a 2 to 1 scale. Okay. Mr. Longstaff, so is this... Was it 13, 13 feet from the curb back? Would that be correct as far as you, your understanding is? Mr. Kruskup is saying that it's 33 feet from the building to the curb line. That is a correct statement. The curb line is not the right-of-way, so the right-of-way would be, it's not actually <coughs> shown on on this sketch, so I'm uh, I'm still <laughs> forgive me I'm still confused. I, sure, I, I'm not getting exactly what the what the measurement is from the right of way. We've got a we've got a mortgage survey or Class D survey that that indicates that there's thir it shows a 30 foot setback line from that the is right of way to the. It, it, in, in the side entrance, the proposed side entrance looks like it's crept inside that 30-foot line, a little closer to the right of way. The uh, the current entrance that's there with the uh, with the um, roof on it is that's a, indicating that roof line. That is that's indicating okay. that current roof line. Okay, thank that you. is not indicating the proposed that, roof line. That was yeah, part I of my confusion. <laughs> we had that. We had. I, I know you deal with so many of them, so I can appreciate your position. I know that was a question before. Extends beyond beyond where that proposed structure is going. Correct. In fact, that existing roof line that you see in the pictures is at nine foot four from the corner. Oh, you're uh, nine foot three, so essentially you're okay, right. pushing it back a foot. Correct. Okay. Which is why in the in the uh, in the civil uh, the NCS document that shows the plot plan, it shows a roof line there uh, that is the current uh, roof line, but of that shed dormer that's outside okay, the uh, building. Mr. Richard, you're good with that? I am, yep. Okay. Yeah, we certainly aren't proposing to come any further forward than any existing uh, structure that, that's there. We just want to incorporate that doorway into uh, into the inside of the, uh, the proposed addition. Okay. Um, other questions from the board? Questions? The mudroom is now within, totally within the envelope. Yes, it would be within the envelope. I think one of the uh, one of the issues, and I double checked it today because I wanted to be clear for the board, uh, was uh, was the measurement on the current roof line, and uh, one of the difficulties, obviously, is keeping that uh, new roof line within that within that uh, spectrum. So uh, we're we're going to be close. It's going to be a, a little bit thin in the front in terms of an overhang, but we'll we'll make sure that it meets the requirements. Okay. So I have a question. Yes. So I see two. The oil bill is right there. <laughs> In fact, they were recently moved to that location. We may have to move them again. Okay. But that uh, is about six foot eight from where the uh, where the building where the front of the building would start back to those uh, oil lines. So we're we're close, and we may have to move them just a bit further. So the building is not going to interfere with those. Obviously, you're going to. Right. Okay. Correct. Nothing ever works out quite like we plan it, does it? 
If it were easy, we wouldn't do it. Mm. Any letters on this one? No. No, no letters? Okay. Uh, no more questions from the board? Okay, I'd like to open it up for public comment. Anyone from the public uh, care to speak? Okay. Close for public comment. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll go through the questions. Okay, the existing building or structures on the lot for which the limited reduction of the yard is uh, is requested were erected prior to Jan uh, excuse me, July 3rd, 1991, or the lot is a vacant, non-conforming lot of record? Yes, they were. Okay. The requested reduction is reasonably necessary to permit the owner or occupant of the property to use and enjoy the property in essentially the same manner as uh, other similar properties are uh, utilized in the zoning district. Yes, in fact, we think it will increase some of the safety factors of the house as well in terms of entry to the house, okay. particularly in inclement weather. Okay. Is this an entry that's used a, a lot more rather than the front entry? That is her primary entry into the home. Uh, if you'll notice in the pictures, you'll see the driveway uh, slips around, and uh, you know, the only other entrance is in the front of the home, which would be you know street side. So she doesn't. There's no path. I think there's a there's a couple of uh, stepping stones. Uh, they get to the set of stairs that are out there, but uh, this is the primary entry in entrance into the home. Okay. Uh, due to the physical features of the lot and or the location of existing structures on the lot, it would not be practical to construct the proposed expansion, enlargement, uh, or new structure in conformance with the currently applicable yard size requirements. Uh, no, not at all. I would believe, uh, she would love to have it bigger if that was possible, but we understand the, the requirements. Uh, the impacts and effects of the enlargement, expansion, or new building, or the structures on existing <coughs> uses in the neighborhood will not be substantially different from or greater than the impacts and effects of a building or structure which conforms to the yard size requirements. No, uh, as I stated before, the uh, the front setback, although obviously that's the uh, the exemption that we're looking for, the building essentially goes towards the side setback and direction doesn't come any farther forward than the current building, so it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't pre prevent any problems or issues of that regard. Further, that I did one about uh, four years ago over on Third Avenue, and a uh, very similar situation. So, uh, other people in the neighborhood are doing the same thing. Okay. Uh, the applicant has not commenced construction of the enlargement expansion uh, building or structure for which the limited reduction in yard size is requested so that the Board of Appeals is not considering an after-the-fact application. Uh, I'm sorry, could you state the first part of that? I, I uh, the applicant has not commenced construction. Uh, I, I, I dug up the stones and the front stepping stones, but there has uh, been absolutely no construction that has been done to that. But. Okay. Um, additional comments, questions from the Board? Once again, I, I don't see that we really need to go through each of these questions individually and vote them up or down, um, unless you, any of the board members feel that we should. Okay. Mr. Masisso. Well, what's the height going to be? Is it going to be basically the same as the... the uh, it will be about three feet higher than that, than that current uh, apex on the top of that, just based on um, the fact you'll have eight-foot ceilings in there and then uh, a four-pitch roof on there. Substantially below the window above it. So, okay. that would be, so to speak, more in line with a front entrance. Cor uh, uh, well, uh, entryway. Oh yeah, yeah the front Compared one. to the side, it, it'll be up higher. Correct. A yeah. little bit closer. I, if you split the gap between the two, and we'll play with it a little bit, what we're trying to do is mimic. Okay. <coughs> Good questions, motions from the board. Move to approve appeal 2530 as presented. Second. Those in favor? Do, do we get any letters or anything? No letters. No letters. Uh, 
five four. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good uh, luck. Also, just wanted to say thank you to Carol. Twenty eight years. We appreciate everything. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy anniversary. I'd like to uh, open the floor up to any comments or questions. Uh, anything that the board would like to comment on record. I'd also like to chime in on thanking Carol for her dedication to this board and many others. I would concur. Yes, thank you. Mr. Chairman, if I could. Yes. Um, just two things. Um, next month in September, we are planning to have a training session with uh, our town attorney, Phil Saucier, uh, just on some zoning board boardsmanship issues, uh, just kind of a general refresher. Um, periodically, we like to try to do that if possible. Um, and what we would do is hold the meeting. We would start the meeting. We would start the training, rather, at uh, probably 5 or 5.30, and I'll get that out to you. We'll provide some food. Um, it won't be... <laughs> it won't be gourmet, but <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll feed you a little bit in return for your presence, uh, and then we'll move into the regular meeting at 7 o'clock. So uh, more, more on that to come. Uh, and I would also like to mention that uh, we're going to sorely miss Carol. Carol Bristol Logan has been uh, with the town for 28 years. And a half. And a half. <laughs> I, I just roughly calculated, Carol, and guessed that you've probably done well over 300 zoning board meetings in that time. Wow. Wow. That's not to mention the number of planning board meetings that she's also done agendas, minutes, and notices for. Oof. So uh, the body of work that this woman has done for the town of Scarborough is pretty amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. And best to you. Carol, we are... Uh, I think we will all miss you a great deal. I hate to see you go, but you have certainly deserved your retirement. And um, I don't know how anybody's going to fill your shoes. So thank you once again for your service. You're welcome. Was and this uh, third appeal thrown out or just Tab moved? Tabled. Tabled we'll till keep, next keep month. Hold, hold on to it, please. Will do. Move to adjourn. Second. <laughs> so moved. <laughs>